Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for January 3rd, 2021. The character is the Ironclad, and the modifiers are all stars, start with 5 colorless cards. Order, whenever you add a card to your deck, add 2 additional copies. You can no longer remove cards from your deck at the Merchant. And Terminal, whenever you enter a new room, lose 1 max HP. Start each combat with 5 plated armor. So yeah, with Hoarder, all star, first of all, I'll get 15 copies, and with Hoarder, my deck will get really large, so I'm hoping to try to get um, a bunch of Mind Blast, if I can. I see Vorpla up here with 1632, very good score, followed by Keeping It Real with 1532, so it must be some difference of either a missed elite or something, or a missed boss or something. Uh, Alex, 1482, Vodoro with 1428, really good score here. Let's see how what well we can do. All right, let's first see what Akala's cards we can get. Okay, no Mind Blast, that, that would be way better. But, um, well, actually, Panic Button is my favorite card. Thinking ahead, the bomb, I mean, these are decent, nothing amazing. But yeah, three copies of all of them. Alright, so I wonder if I should prioritize shop so I can maximize the chance of getting a Mind Blast. Uh, well, actually, I don't really have a choice. There's a two elite path on the left, and uh, yeah, that's the only two elite path. So let's just, let's just take it, and maybe on the next few acts I might prioritize bosses more. Uh, not bosses, I mean shops. Uh, let me do the bomb here, might as well, and then maybe just get a strike out, sure. I just have to wait next turn to all be dead, right? So I just have to survive this turn. 12 incoming, very nice. This is exactly why I like Panic Button, right? Because you can oftentimes calculate and just kill the turn after. Very nice. Got a Gambler's Brew, Iron Wave, Human Kinesis, Twin Strike. I am wondering, first of all, let me check with my final boss is Hexago. So I do want to lose a bunch of HP. Between these, Twin Strike might be good for damage. But I'm thinking of Iron Wave just to have some block. Although if I get a Perfected Strike, Twin Strike... Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. Human Kinesis might not be bad either. Let, hmm, let's let let's take the Iron Wave. I think that's a safer choice here. Alright, I don't need to remove anything. I have I have and will get even more cards. Okay, there's a first set of Curses. Regrets, alright. Okay, probably just do the Bomb again, right? Uh, let's do Good Instincts, get a little bit of block with the Iron Wave. And then the Bomb, okay. Actually, I'm not sure why I'm trying to protect my HP, because I want to lose some before the Hexagos fight. Uh, speaking of losing some, I definitely will lose some with the Regrets there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then they're all dead next turn. Nice. Alright, Perfected Strike, Armaments, Anger. Yeah, well, now I regret not taking the Twin Strikes, but let's start with the Perfected Strikes now. Okay. Alright, Cultists. Uh, let's just, well, play everything so the Regret deals less damage. Okay, perfected strike. Only 22. That's a little disappointing, actually. Yeah, should be fine. I'm just worried that I might not have what it takes to kill the upcoming elite. Combust, flex, or burning pack. Combust might be useful this early on if I'm lacking damage, right? Probably not great against the Hexagos. Burning pack might be nice, although I don't really have much energy. Yeah, this is tough. Let's go with the combust. I rarely take it, but it might be useful, especially in a fight like this. Alright, so... Do I want to play the bomb? I kind of do. It will kill the backliner in two turns. I just have to survive next turn, too. Let's do the bomb. I mean, might as well, right? I can't really... Well, there's nothing better to play. I'll do this just so that the bomb can kill everyone. Just have to come up with uh, 18 block next turn. Or actually just... Oh, panic button. Yeah, that will work. Okay. And if you needed proof that panic button is my favorite card, this is it. I mean, gave me a perfect here. Okay. Alright, perfect this elite. We got Thread Needle, so I should come with 4 plated armor in addition to the 5 plated armor from the terminal, so that's really good. An early collective one from Combust? Actually, I think uh, early brutality, especially if I can get it upgraded, would be nice. Okay. Alright, so here Combust would be great too. Uh, I This actually, I might not want to play Panic Button here. Hang on, let me. I'm actually fully defended with all the plated armor I have, so I don't need to play any of these. Yeah, 9 plated armor is nice. Okay, do I want to do the bomb? Uh, let's do brutality. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. And then um, I just need two attacks to kill this guy next turn. Oh no, I'm weakened. Ugh, I actually need a little more than just two attacks. Ugh. Um, I mean, I'm okay taking damage. Maybe I should just accept all of the damage. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this. And then thinking ahead... And uh, this is only 5 damage, combust this. Yeah, fine. I'll just do this, it's okay. okay. 
Yeah, I wanted to lose HP for the final fight anyway, so it's fine to drop down a little lower than I thought I would. Alright. Oh, the bomb killed everybody, right. We got the Flex Potion, Clash, Infernal Blade, or Spark Boomerang. Let's take the Infernal Blade, although it might be a little tough against the Gremlin Knob. But let's hope that's not the other Elite. Okay. Yeah, I got Anchor, so I just come with 10, 10 block. That's actually kind of nice. Especially since I might have trouble blocking. Uh, I wouldn't mind uh, upgrading in Brutality early on, just to make sure I have enough card draw. Okay. Yeah. And, okay, Fungi Beasts, let's do probably just the Bomb again. And I'll do Brutality. I do want to lose a little bit of HP, because this might be the Looter and Mugger fight, so I don't want to have too much HP for that fight. Also, not too little. It has to be, like, a nice balance. Actually, here, I'll do two Combusts. They'll take, they'll deal damage to me, and the Combust will kill soon. Okay. Um, here, it only deals 10 damage, right? So let's make sure both are low. All right. Okay, I've got a Fear Potion, Dropkick, Clash, or Flex. Yeah, sure, I'll take Dropkick. Clash is going to be bad once I have more Curses. All right, Unannounced Shop, no Mind Plus, sadly. Dolly's Mirror would give me a Collector Bonus. Maybe I should take it on the Perfected Strike. Or on the Brutality, but then then that I would have, what, four? Um, yeah, four innate Brutalities. That's that's a little too much. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do it on the Perfected Strikes. It's also relatively cheap. Um, not a big fan of the cards, but I probably should take them. All right, let's do Dolly's Mirror, the Perfected Strike. Too bad. Let's not upgrade it. All right, and then, um, yeah, let's just focus on the cards. So Anger, probably not Entrench, probably not Rampage. They're not going to be that great, but Metalysis is great and Warcry is great. Ooh, I should. Uh, this is very expensive. I'm thinking of taking the bomb just to get a Collector Bonus on that. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that was very expensive, but hopefully worth it for the 25 points. All right, I did get the Grumman Knob. I am seriously considering t of playing the Fear Potion and the Flex Potion. Let me first do Thinking Ahead. Um... Well, let's put the strike back. Let's see what the Infernal Blade gives me. Emulate. Yeah, next turn is just going to be the rough one. Um, but this is 4061. Yeah, let me throw the Fear Potion. Do Emulate. And then the Bomb. Okay. Let's see what happens next turn. 14. Alright, there's a free drop kick. And actually, I think I can kill here. Alright, awesome. Yeah, thanks to that Fear Potion, we got Kunai. Every time play three attacks in single turn, gain one dexterity. That was an explosive potion, and yeah, let's get a collective bonus from Combust. Why not? Okay, yeah, this is perfect. I want to drop down to 17 max, uh, seventeen actual HP, right? Yeah, so, um, well, let's deal some damage so I can easily kill. Let's also do Brutality. They'll allow me to take more damage. Okay. All right, 15. I could just kill one of them. Um, no, I'll, I'll just try to get him close. Okay. Yeah, I still have a lot of plated armor, right? That's going to take a while to get through. Um, yeah, let's do Combust. Uh, I don't want to be too rash. Yeah, I might kill the enemies before I drop down to 17, so let's not hurry this up too much. Okay, so I have 8. I need to lose another 6. So, 14 incoming. Um... Or I can get 5 block. No, that's too much. I have 18 incoming, right? I have to... Actually, I guess I can do another combust. Or a combust. I don't want to take... Well, you know what? Let's take all of that damage, right? I'll be 18 and I only need 14. So I'll be a little lower than I expect. Actually, Metal says it's perfect, right? Did I calculate this correctly? Alright, alright. I'm, I'm there. Uh, okay, now I'm a little lower than I wanted to be, but I think that's totally fine. Uh, at the end of your turn, lose 1 HP and deal 1 damage. Uh, can I...? Ooh. Yeah, I think I have to play double combust here. Oh, that's not even going to be enough. And I have to do iron wave. Alright, that's fine. Alright, 13. I think that's okay. Intimidate, Sword Boomerang, True Grit. I need defense against the Hexaghost. I'm really worried about that, so let's take the True Grits. Okay. And then I probably don't want to upgrade another um brutality instead maybe upgrade the oh i should also sort a to z right just to make sure i can track collector bonuses yeah i do not have enough defensive cards unfortunately so i wonder if i should upgrade maybe let's upgrade the metal sizes yep those might help hopefully all right hexaghost um okay so Let's see. Inf no, I should definitely do the Infernal Blade. Actually, never mind. I have a bunch of plated armor, right? Let's do Brutality and Metallicize. And the bomb. Yeah, so the Metallicize and the Brutality together. Sorry, Metallicize and the plated armor together should fully defend me against this. Yep, 12. 
That's good. I don't want to do another brutality because I realize I'm a little low on HP. So... Do I want to do combust though? Yeah, 5 HP. No, I I'm afraid I might die just from the HP loss. So let's just wait here. Okay. Also got lucky with the draw there. Alright, another 6. Uh, let's do thinking ahead. Another metallicize might be... You know what? Why not? Let's do metallicize and perfect the strike. Okay. Another 10. So, Perfected Strike and um, Iron Wave. Okay. Maybe I should use a Flex Potion at some point too. I'm worried I might not be able to kill in time. Or I just play another Bomb. Okay. Uh, let's Thinking Ahead. Oh, two Regrets. That's going to bring down my HP quite a bit, actually. Yeah, let's at least get rid of one. Uh, drop Cake, Secret Weapon, and Anger. All right. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's a lot of regrets. Uh, they're going to deal a lot of damage here. Let's do the bomb and then iron wave. How much? Six, six HP just from the regrets. At least I'm done with them now, right? Yeah, I don't think I should have any regrets left in my deck. Uh, I will die in five turns. Four turns, though, because of the brutality. Oof. Um, do I want to do... Hang on. The bomb is going to go off very soon. I am fully defended, right? Yeah, let's do perfected strike. No, let me do bash, drop kick. And then Anger. And let me put the Thinking Ahead back and play that next turn. Okay, that way the enemy will be vulnerable too. This is getting close. Eight incoming. Effective Strike deals 42 and then the bomb should kill. Oh, wow. I I do not feel good about how close this was, but... Okay, just barely survived there. Uh, actually, barely perfected there. Bludgeon, Exhumer, Juggernaut. Interesting. Do I want to exhume anything? I do exhaust a good amount, but I don't think enough for the exhume to be really useful. So, yeah, I think I'll go with the bludgeon. Juggernaut is nice with the plated armor, but it'll be better if I had more consistent block. Tough choice. If I get energy, bludgeon would be better, probably. Yeah, let's go with the juggernaut. Uh, just because I'm not convinced. If I don't have energy, bludgeon is not that great. Okay, so I could get the Fusion Hammer, get Energy Star of your turn, you can only smith the rest sites. That's not that great. Busted Crown is also bad because I want to get a lot of collective bonuses. I want to take Sacred Bark. I don't really have a lot of uh, potions. I might have to go with Fusion Hammer. I mean, I would like to get some stuff upgraded, but there's nothing urgently that would need, that need to get upgraded. Although, if I get a Mind Blast, that would be nice. I do need the energy. I think I'll go with the Fusion Hammer. Get Energy Star of your turn, you can no longer smith the rest sites. Yeah, let's do it. It's definitely a risk. I could imagine an argument for all three of those relics. But I do hope that the extra energy will come in handy. Alright, two Elite Path. Actually, again, yeah, only one two Elite Path in the middle. And there is an option either of doing three question marks or doing two question marks in a shop before the first Elite. And then afterwards, I do have a Guaranteed Shop here. So I might just save up my gold for that Guaranteed Shop. I do think that an extra question mark is more valuable than an extra shop, even if there is a small chance of getting a Mind Blast. Alright, 15. I think I'll just do the bomb here and wait. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> based on my last fight, I'm not even sure if I should play Brutality. Mm -hmm. okay, I just need to survive this turn. Another 10 incoming. Let's do Metallicized Trigger. Actually, I don't even need to, right? Because I have Plated Armor. Okay. And then these guys should all be dead. Let me... Wait, will they die before the Regret deals damage? I don't want to risk it, so let's just play a bunch of stuff. No, so the Regret deals damage and then the bomb kills everybody. All right. Probably don't need the Strength Potion. Pummel is fine, but probably not necessary. Let's go with the Collector Bonus for True Grit. Okay. Uh, oof, this is a really bad curse to have, but... Let's risk it. Yep, I got it. We also got a more and you get the next two curse to obtain, which is nice, because now I already have enough curses, unfortunately. A bunch of them are innate. Uh, let's risk it. Go big or go home, and I went home. Fine. Yeah, so now my opening hand is pretty much going to be garbage, uh, which is unfortunate. My only hope here is a Mind Blast. I will do Brutality, because might as well. Mm -hmm. Ten incoming. Let's do the Bomb. Sure. Thinking ahead, thinking ahead again, and uh, I will take, well, not that much damage, but I could fully, def yeah, let's, let's just do a perfected strike here. Okay. Mm, 20 incoming, uh, yeah, I probably don't want to do Juggernaut here. Get rid of this, defend, Infernal Blade, 
Clash, which I cannot play, sadly. Okay. Alright, and then at the end of this turn, he will die thanks to the bomb. But let's play a few more cards. Okay. Mm, yeah, those regrets are dealing a good amount of damage, actually. We got an attack potion, which I might take over. Yeah, let's take over the flex potion. Bloodletting. I already have enough true grits. Uh, let's. I don't think I need energy that badly for bloodletting to be worth it. Let's take rage. At this point, I'm just taking cards to get potentially more collective bonuses. Okay, yeah, this opening hand. Uh, do I want to do combust? I'm just worried about losing too much HP, and I still have two elite fights coming up. Uh, let's just do the brutality. I don't think I need to combust here. Okay. All right, 16. Uh, there's a perfected strike. Let's do that. Infernal Blade gives me a wall strike. And let's do metallicize. All right. Hmm. Another 12. Uh, do I want to do Juggernaut? Uh, sure. Infernal Blade gives me Heavy Blade. And then just a strike. Okay. All right. Yeah, the metallicize and plated armor combination triggered the Juggernaut twice, which is good. Rage, Infernal Blade gives me Thunderclap, very nice. Dropkick, Iron Wave, and uh, seems like I have to do the bomb here, right? Or I can do, well, I can do the bomb and Panic Button, and I am confident I should be able to kill next turn. Uh, okay, I might have been too confident there. Let's do Bash and Iron Wave, and then I'll put the Regret back because I can kill, nice. All right, power through anger, body slam, and upgraded power through is great, even though I could get a collective bonus on anger, but it's a common card. Hopefully, I'll get another one. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. So, I have 32 incoming, and I just don't have anything good to play here. So, I have 28. Actually, I'm not that far off. Let me see. Do I want to use the Gambler's Brew? I don't think the attack potion will give me anything, but let's try. Bludgeon. 32, 42 with the explosive potion. Eh, that's still not going to be enough. Uh, well, might as well. Alright. And then, fine, let's use the Gambler's Brew. Okay, is this going to be enough? 32? Yes, that's exactly enough. Very good. Got lucky there. Should have probably done the Gambler's Brew in the beginning. I guess I was hoping for, like, an Iron Wave or something like that. Do I want to do the Bomb? Next turn might be rough. Uh, and no, I think... Hmm, so I have 19 incoming. Power through is enough. Let's do that. And then Secret Weapon. Do I have something that deals 12 damage with one energy? I don't think so. I do not. Okay, well, let's take an Anger here. And then I think I'll do Perfected Strike. Yeah, I, I do want to kill the Backliner. So let's kill you with the Perfected Strike and then just do Anger here. And I'll do Trigger Okay. Sure. Okay. Hmm. Alright, 14. So, do I want to do the bomb? That'll take a little bit to become useful. Yeah, let's do Infernal Blade or Whirlwind. No, that's not enough. Let's just do the bomb. And then I said 14, right? So, True Grit. Yeah. Just needs to survive next turn. Another 19. Uh, okay. Rage, True Grit. Yeah, that should be enough, right? I can do Juggernaut and then... Oh, unless a True Grit hits another True Grit. That would be unfortunate. Nope. Oh, got lucky. All right. At the end of this turn. Oh, actually, this guy is not going to die yet. Oh, I have to be a little careful then. Uh, let's do thinking ahead. Uh, all right, I guess I'll play the bomb again. And then uh, one more time, why not? Okay. Ideally, I would kill though. Oh, let's do Juggernaut. Defend secret. Oh, okay, that's it. Good. And Mercury Aguas, I start your turn, deal three damage to all enemies, as well as fire breathing, inflame, or headbutt. Uh, probably not fire breathing. Between headbutt and inflame, I don't really need strength that badly. Let's take the headbutt. Uh, I took the right path, right? Yeah, okay. Really hoping the next shop has uh, Mind Blast. Uh, remove. No, I don't think I need to remove anything. Let's just upgrade all strikes. Oh, I should have removed a, a Wraith. Yeah, I just realized that was a mistake. I hope that's not going to cost me too much. I should have just removed because I had already had five curses. Uh, probably want to... Is there a good way to kill... I don't have good AoE, right? I don't have any AoE. Uh, let's take a perfected strike so I can at least get rid of one of the minions. Okay. Alright, there's a small chance he might not attack. He is attacking though. 
Okay, not much I can do about this. I wonder if removing an extra card or an extra wraith at the beginning would have changed anything, but I doubt it. Let's, well, let's get rid of one of them. Uh, yeah, I can do dropkick headbutt and get a perfected strike back. And I'm nowhere, well, I guess I wasn't that far off to be able to fully defend, but yeah, it wasn't quite enough, sadly. Good instincts, perfected strike, headbutt, probably another perfected strike, uh-huh. And then I'll do true grit, okay. And he's attacking again. All right, now I'm a little worried. Uh, let's do good instincts. Can I have the true grit hit the regret? That would be nice. Uh, yeah, let's put the perfected strike back because then I can do perfected strike at butt. The perfected strike. Okay, and then true grit. All right. Okay, not taking too much damage, but I am a little low, lower than I would like to be. Double perfected strike, and then thinking ahead for a. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's do panic button. I'm worried in case he decides to attack next turn again, because I'm actually low on HP. All right, so anger. Can I kill the backliner somehow? I would like that very much. Um, I am worried I might not be able to kill. Uh, so let's just do iron wave anger and hope I can come up with enough damage next turn. Or I guess I have a panic button, but that might not be enough. Let's just how we weaken too. Okay, so yep, not enough damage. All right, at least uh, hang on. So thirty-six plus fourteen is fifty. I have twenty-one right here, and another nine, so thirty, thirty-eight, and yeah, actually I'm good. Yeah, I was probably worried for nothing there. Uh, panic button is enough, right? I can even get a drop kick in. All right, maybe I'll do combust. Well, I'll take damage, but. No, I think this is fine. I have an explosive potion if I can't kill next turn. Just need... Ah, uh, come on. Uh, well, actually, I can do uh, thinking ahead. Okay, fine. This was actually tougher than I thought it would be. Sadly, wasn't able to perfect. Let's see what I get here. Peace pipe, you can now remove cards from your deck at rest sites. I might actually do that with one of the wraiths. And corruption. Yeah, definitely. No questions about that, right? Okay. We got strawberry. I can pick up race from extra by 7. Uh, yeah, that, that was badly needed. And I don't need to heal. Let's choose something nice to pick up. Another power throw would be good. Lane barrier is decent. Dual wield, maybe not that great. Do I have anything with the strike? I have a pommel strike here and a twin strike. And another perfected strike. Wait, actually, I already got a uh, collector bonus on the perfected strike, right? So I probably shouldn't go overboard. Yeah, let's just get a collector bonus on the power throw. Okay. No mind plus. Although I could take good instincts and get a collector bonus for that. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Only 84 gold. I could also take the pair, but I'm not going to get a score bonus for that, so I don't think I need to. Let's take Good Instincts, and then Thunderclap is on sale. Rage I could get a collector bonus on. Uh, Inflame is not a bad idea. And for the collector... Oh, never mind. I thought I could afford a potion too. And then, doesn't matter which way I go. Let's go. Let's take a question mark first. Uh, I will lose 16 HP, right? That's fine. Necronomicon, perfect. The first attack played each turn that costs two or more is played twice. I can pick up obtain a special curse. That makes the perfected strikes so much better. And actually, once I get a Mind Blast, that will make those much better too. All right, I am thinking if I should hold off on the Brutality because I'm starting to get worried about how much HP I'm losing. Yeah, let's start to get by without it. Okay, 18 incoming. Uh, let's do Infernal Blade... Twice. Uh, Whirlwind is only 10 damage, right? That's not going to be enough. Oh, uh, I did not realize I had the headbutt. Uh, headbutt. Uh, I guess I'll take an anger back. Okay. I'm actually going to lose some HP here. Uh, here, let's do this and use the explosive push, and that way I'll save myself some HP. Okay. Another 18. Alright, let's do Rage, Iron Wave, Anger. And uh, do I want to combust? No, I think I'll wait. Hmm. Alright, yeah, there's double playing. The perfected strike is nice. And then thinking ahead, uh, I'll probably just play a true grid here. Okay. Hmm. And here, thunderclap headbutt. Nice. Alright, thunderclap cleave or ghostly armor. I did not already have 
a collector bonus for Thunderclap, so let's take a collector bonus for that. Although Ghostly Armor would have been nice as well. It's Neko. Uh, here would be great to play. Okay, fine, I'll do Brutality. I could rest in the next rest side. Actually, wait, I have to rest in the next rest side because of Fusion Hammer, right? So I'm okay losing a little bit of HP here. Let's do Juggernaut, Iron Wave, the Bomb, and Metal Size. Okay. Mm -hmm. 22. Power through is fine. Uh, actually, or a true grit. And I have 12 already. Uh, let's do thunderclap, good instincts, and then true grit. Okay. And another one, sure. Okay. Another 22. Infernal blade gives me an anger. I don't think I can kill here, so let's try to. Actually, no, I I can if I get the perfected strike, right? Perfect. All right. Battle Trans Clash Clothline. Clothline with the Necronomicon is actually pretty good. Battle Trans would be nice because at this point I need card draw. Let's take the Clothline first, though. Okay. Ooh, or I should remove... No, you know what? I just, I'm a little worried, so let's rest. I'm just a little worried about having too low HP. And then maybe at the next rest side I'll remove an extra right. Uh, here I will definitely play the Brutality. Let's do Thinking Ahead. And let's put the Good Instincts back because very likely I'll get attacked next turn. Okay, so... 32. Uh, let's do Rage, Good Instincts. Uh, basically just play everything, right? Yeah, I can play everything. Is that going to be enough? That's the question, and the answer is not even close. Well, kind of close. I was three block away. Yeah, so... Yeah, I shouldn't have said not even close. Somewhat, somewhat close, but sadly not enough. Yeah, this was sort of luck dependent. I do wonder... Well, let me see if I can get another curse, because I got the right... Oh, wait. Where did I miss a curse here? Why is a memory on one charge? That's weird. I... I did not realize... Wait, what? When did I miss a curse? I... I don't remember what happens, but... Yeah, so I do wonder if, if I didn't take the Wraith, I would have gotten Omori a little late, but then that might have made my opening hand better, which would have made the whole thing much better, but... It's fine, it's fine. Let's just move on. Let me put the bomb back because I feel like I might need it. And uh, yeah, let's do power through and then maybe get another anger if I have it. Did I not have? Oh, there it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I probably shouldn't attack the minions anymore because I do have the combust. So I should probably just wait four turns. All right, double up on the... Oh, I would love to play the corruption actually. Yeah, I think it's worth it. It'll make all the bombs free and every other skill, of course. Mm -hmm. All right, so next turn the minions are dead. I do have 27 incoming. Infernal Blade gives me Whirlwind, which is not super helpful. Let's do Metallicize. I will headbutt the uh, Perfected Strike that I didn't play. And then let's do Iron Wave for a little bit of lock. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, he's summoning again. Uh, let's double up on the Perfected Strike. And then a regular strike, and uh, I think I'll wait. I don't want to do another Brutality. I'm now worried about my HP. Okay, yeah, that's quite a bit. Luckily, I do have a nice defensive hand. Alright, and then Secret Weapon for another Perfected Strike, maybe? Alright. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was just a matter of luck. I think... Yeah, I think the only thing I can think of that I could have improved is not pick up the right. That, that might have made it a little easier to perfect this one, but didn't really have a chance there. Another a collector bonus for corruption or juggernaut. I actually wouldn't mind getting a corruption out early, so let's take a collector bonus for that. And then here, I already have enough energy. Let's go with the black star, elite strong initial relic when defeated. Okay. All right, so don't undeck at the end. That should be fine. And let's see, one, two. Just two elite paths, but multiple. So up until this point, I can get, yeah, three question marks in a shop. That's good. And then after this point, I have to get to this. Well, actually, hang on. After this point, if I stick on the left, I'll get two, no, three question marks this way. In the middle, it's just two. And on the right, it's also three, but these are the same. Oh, no, on the left, I have an extra rest site. On the right, I have a regular fight. I might just go for the regular fight then. Well, let's get there first. I, I definitely want to remove one of the rights. Uh, look at this opening hand. Uh, I'll do one Brutality to this overkill. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Uh, yeah, let's do corruption. Uh, thinking ahead. I might need the block next turn, so let me make sure I have a few. Oh, actually, power through is great next turn. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of this guy, right? Okay, so uh, let's do rage. Actually, I could kill him with perfected strikes, but I'd rather not. Instead, I'd rather... Wait, how much damage is it? Just 30, right? So let's do thunderclap. And then I'll do... I'll kill this guy with the perfected strike. That way I don't have to worry about him. And then I can also headbutt the perfected strike. Actually, no, they're all dead, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, second win, battle trans flex. Now I think I'll take a battle trans. Okay, I am okay losing one of the corruptions. Yeah, six is overkill, five is plenty. Okay, or Parker. All right, I am fully defended, so no need to play the power through. Okay, 13. Metallicize, Iron Wave. Yeah, actually, again, I'm fully defended. Did I? I feel like I picked up too many defensive cards. I feel like I'm not getting enough offensive cards, but I guess I have Juggernaut. That's going to help always. Let's do Panic button is a little too soon. Uh, let's do power through. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can do panic button here. Okay. Alright, 19. Rage, Thunderclap, good instincts. And then um, let's do battle trance. Headbutt, uh, what, like a an attack card? Okay. And then the bomb. Okay. Actually, he's dead next turn just from the juggernaut, right? Okay. I got an Ancient Potion, Swap Boomerang, Headbutt, Shockwave. I think I need a Collector Bonus for the Headbutt, so let's take that. And here, sure, let's fight for a Rare Relic. Okay, I definitely don't want to do Panic Button here. I'll take 1 HP damage. Alright. Uh, what is that, 31? Infernal Blade gives me a Bludgeon. Sadly, zero cost, so it's not going to be played twice. I should have done the Inflame first, though, silly. Okay. Take another 10. And then here. Now I can double up the clothesline, but that seems unnecessary. Let's do um, the battle trance. The corruption is barely going to play anything, right? Yeah, it's not going to make anything zero. So I think instead, if I double up on the clothesline 32, might be hard to kill. I could double up on the bash 24 and then vulnerability. Yeah, that might be better. Let's double up on the bash. Okay. And then headbutt. Uh, what do I want to get back? A bludgeon. Yeah, that would be good. That might kill too. And then iron wave for a little bit of block. Okay. All right. So just twice. So it's going to be seventy-two. Yeah, that's almost enough. All right. Okay, we got dead branch. Very nice. Whenever you exhaust a card, add a run card into your hand as well as elixir. That I might keep that just for the final fight because then that would, together with dead branch, get rid of all the curses in the opening hand. Thunderclap, I think I have enough, right? So between Anger, which I would need, or Pummel Strike, I probably should go with the Anger. Get a collector bonus. Okay, no Mind Blast, but Membership Card. 50% discount on all products. Um, now, this is the problem. I don't have a guaranteed shop coming up anymore. And if I don't have a shop coming up, I would pay 150 uh, gold to then only get a remainder of 27, which would be doubled because everything is on sale. 50% so it'll be 54 gold so I'm spending 150 to get 54 if I don't get another shop if I do get another shop then this is obviously the right the right choice uh tough tough decision but I think I should pretty much always go with the membership discount so 50% discount on all products especially because there's still so many question marks left well three I guess not that many but four four yeah I think it's worth it let's take it and uh I could wait I picked up enough angers right yeah Warcry's I would need. Probably still don't want Rampage. Did I have? Yeah, I have three Warcry's. Let's take the Warcry. Okay, got a collector bonus for that. And then I still have a hope that I'll have a shop with a Mind Blast towards the end. Okay, let's just do Corruption. I hope I'm not going to need, need the Brutality. Alright, another 16. Uh, secret Weapon, probably just something like... Actually, I don't think I can double kill, right? Yeah, let's not. Let's just take the Perfected Strike. And then Thunderclap. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to get an Iron Wave just so I can get a little bit of block. But it's okay, yeah. That's the other thing I was thinking of doing, doing the Perfected Strike so I can kill faster, but I realized it wouldn't be, would not be enough. All right. Okay, I did I have enough power throws? 
I did, okay. So then no more of those needed. Between Cleave and Fiendfire, I don't have either, but I... I, I guess for the upcoming boss fight, Cleave is a little better. Okay, upgrade a card. That probably should be... That probably should be one of the perfected strikes, so that when I secret weapon something, I can secret weapon the upgraded card rather than the unupgraded ones. Alright, I am fully defended here. A little lucky. Another 18. Uh, here, I am not fully defended. Uh, let me see what the colorless potion gives me. Finesse might... Well, it's the only hope I have, right? So... Yeah, let's do finesse. Thinking ahead. Uh, Rage is actually... Possibly not a bad idea. Let's do Rage, Infernal Blade. Ooh, Offering is really good. Alright, let me do Anger. Yeah, I think I have to do Offering here. Uh, let me do Corruption first, then Offering. Okay. Alright, and then Metallicize. So I have 12, 17. I need a little bit more, so might as well do Pummel. And uh, Anger. Okay, no, I think this one well. Might as well do Silver Soul, why not? Ooh, can I exhume anything good? Yeah, I probably don't want to exhume another offering. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. 45, yeah, I was worried about that. I might have to play the panic button. And actually, even that is not going to be... Hang on. That'll be 40, 43, and I also need to play the true grid. And I have to play the true grid first. Or, or, hang on, hang on. I could do power through. So that's 33. I might get away without the panic button, right? Definitely want to do Rupture at some point. So, what did I say? It's 37. And this will be 45. Well, let's see what the True Good hits. Okay, yeah. It's the Panic Button. That's okay. Alright, let's see what the Infernal Blade gives me. Pummel is fine. Let's do that. And then I should do Rupture or... No, no. I didn't even play the Brutality. Let's just do Fiendfire. Okay. Oh, it's played twice, right? With Dead Branch. I forgot about that. Nice. Okay. Is that going to be enough to kill? Oh, wow. And Sentinel gives me energy back. Uh, I might be able to kill here. I am very impressed. I need one more attack. Uh, let's do... Let me get rid of some cards here. We'll see armor. True Grit. And Reckless Charge. Nice. Alright, perfect this one. We got Pendant. Every 10th attack you play deals double damage, as well as Toxic, toxic Egg whenever you add a skill into your deck upgraded. And I don't have any of these, but I'll take Wall Strike for the potential uh, upgrade on the Perfected Strikes. And I'm going on the... L no, no, I said on the right because I don't care for a rest side, right? Yeah, I don't think I care for a rest side. Okay. Incense Burner, very nice. Every six turns, gain one intangible. That hopefully is going to be very useful. Alright, uh, let's do Thunderclap. I don't think I'll play the Brutality here again. Okay. Hmm, 19... Let's do Rage, Iron Wave, uh, this guy. I would like to kill him this time. Warcry. I am fully defended, right? Uh, yeah, with the Metallicize I am, so let's keep the uh, defend for later. And then Headbutt you. I'll take another Thunderclap. That should kill the Exploder. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's a lot of incoming. Let's do Thunderclap, Strike. Uh, or, yeah, sure. And then Battle Trance, Cleave, yeah, that would have been better. And then Defend, okay. Hmm. Another 10, good instincts. Actually, I'm fully defended without it. Let's do Anger, Headbutt. I did not get a Perfected Strike out yet. Let's take the Secret Weapon and then I can play the Perfected Strikes that way. Mm -hmm. And actually, one of the perfected strikes uh, will be double damage, right? Because of... Oh, let me grab the upgraded one. Because of the... Uh, oh, actually, he died. All right. That smoke bomb, which I probably won't need. And then anger, uh, pummel strike, or entrench. I'll stick the pummel strike. Okay, transient. All right. Uh, I am intangible here anyway, so I don't think I need to play anything. Okay. 40. Uh, do I want to do the Corruption? Let me first see what this gives me. Yeah, I could just defend a lot, right? Yeah, let's do Corruption. And then Defend, Defend, Good Instincts, True Grit. Okay. And then I could double tap the Bludgeon, but that seems excessive. Actually, I have 38, right? So I don't need to do anything anymore. Alright, I'll keep the double damage for next turn. 
Mm -hmm. All right, double up on the bash. Mm -hmm. Cleave, anger. And then let me war cry something I might need next turn. Yeah, true grit is probably better. Okay. 16. Oh, that's a really bad hand. Uh, panic button is dangerous, but it might be the only thing I have left here. Definitely don't need... Well... Yeah, let's not play the corruption. Okay, let's do Juggernaut. No, uh, let me do True Grid first. Okay. Yeah, I was hoping I could get something good out of it. Alright, Juggernaut. And then I might still need to do Panic Button. Yeah, I don't think I'll do Combust. Um, yeah, this is fine. I'm fully defended. I just have to worry about next turn. Okay, 7 Neem. Oh, a free power through. Rage Strike. Emulate, and is that going to be enough? Yeah, with the uh, with the Necronom account, it's enough. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, Twin Strike, Carnage, Bloodletting. I did not, never pick up a Twin Strike, right? So, yeah, maybe I will now. Sure. Actually, Carnage would have been played twice, too. But no, I think I'll make the Perfective Strike stronger that way. All right, I am fully defended here. Here, I will do Brutality, because I think it's important. Okay. I am Intangible next turn, which is very convenient. Although, yep, everybody's attacking me. Very good. Uh, do I want to do Juggernaut? Might as well. Let's do Juggernaut, and then I think I'll double up on the Clothline. Okay, and then Anger. Uh, I should have played the Anger first. Yeah, sort of wasted double damage there. Okay. Yeah, I got really lucky with the Instance Murder here. 25, that seems doable. Although, uh, let me double up on the Perfected Strike first. Oh, actually, hang on. If I double up on Bash, this would be another 23 more, right? So 69 times 2. No, no, no. Bash will be played twice. Okay, so that's not enough. All right, let's just do Perfected Strike. Okay, and then Twin Strike. And uh, actually, Wild Strike is enough. And then Twin Strike and Anger. Okay. And I should be able to kill if I draw the right thing. And I did. Nice. Okay. We got Preserved Insect, a little late, but I'll take it. Enemies in lead combats have 25% less HP as well as Juju Basin. Normal enemy combats are no longer encountered in question mark rooms. And yeah, this is too many perfected strikes. I think I'll... I, why did I think I had a clash? No, I, I specifically rejected clashes, right? Let's take a Bloodletting, I guess. Um, don't need it, but, you know, why not? Sundial, every three times you shuffle, drop all gain two extra energy. That's not going to happen with 300 or 138... Um, what do you call it? 138 cards in my deck. Uh, I... Actually, I was going to say I could get a collector bonus but on the Wraith, but no, I have a Mori, so I can't really do that. Uh, this would give me a collector bonus on Madness, though. Let's take it. Okay. And then here, let me remove one of the Wraiths. Yeah, they have been annoying me quite a bit. Where are they? Here. Okay. All right. I only need five for the Cursed Modifier, so I should be good. Okay, so 20 incoming. I'm almost fully defended. Uh, let's do Brutality, a Rage, and then let me exhaust these two. And hope I get something good. Uh, yeah, I have Rage, right? So the Perfected Strike is enough. Let me actually do Perfected Strike here, and then I'll do the Bomb. Oh, and trigger double damage. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so far so good. 26 now. Uh, there's a panic button that I would like to avoid because then next turn I'm pretty much done for. So, and yeah, I'm not intangible for another two turns, which is sad. All right, let's do battle trance. I don't exhaust anything, right? Except for the panic button. Ooh, this is not good. I. Oh, actually, wait, wait. This is what I can do. I can drink the ancient potion and then play the panic button. Okay, good, good. That, I think, was actually really good. Let's do Metal Size. Uh, combust might be a little too much, so let me just do this. Okay, I just have to defend next turn, and then turn after I'll be intangible. Good thing about that Ancient Potion, too, although, wait. 9, 8, 17, plus 9 is 26. Yeah, no, I'm good. Alright, so let's double up on the Perfected Strike. Okay. Alright, and then defend... Uh, let me double up on the angers as well. Actually, bomb deals 40 damage, right? Yeah, let's do this. And then true grit. And that is, I calculate correctly, yep. What am I doing on time, by the way? 43. Oh, can I kill in one minute? I'm intangible here. 
So let's double up. Oh, oh, so close to dealing more than 100 damage too. Double up on the perfected strike and then headbutt. Uh, doesn't matter what because I can kill. Awesome. All right. So sadly, I don't think I stood a chance against the Act 2 boss, but against Act 3, I did pretty well. 1482. I thought I would have more. It's actually... Hang on. So out of six elites, I perfectly fine. Yeah, I only missed the... Uh, what was it? The one of the Gremlin leader fights, or the Gremlin leader fight? I think I just got unlucky with the card draw, and then perfected two or three elites, light speed, and Cicabdian. I got thirteen collective bonuses, which I think was nice, and then Mister Machine and Curses was easy. I think everybody would would have gotten that. I was very close to the overkill modifier, but missed it. The perfected strike. Maybe if I had an extra strike, well, a set of extra strike cards, I would have gotten more than hundred damage towards the end with the pendant, of course. And then I don't think I was close to combo. And obviously nothing, nothing that I could do with max HP. But no, I think I think the biggest problem were the wraiths. Clearly, I used the Amori. I don't remember where I used them, but clearly there was another curse I could have taken that I didn't, and that probably wouldn't have been the wraiths, which would have made my life a little easier. But let's see where we stand in the rankings. I think this is a fun run. Hoarder runs are always fun, right? All right, so I'm ninth right now, which is pretty nice. Oh, look at that! I'm tied with Alex in terms of score. So I wonder if uh, let me know in the comments if you did the same thing, if you got the same score. So missed one elite, uh, I mean one boss. Well, I guess one elite and one boss. Or if you just uh, did something differently to get to the score. But so if I had perfected that uh, last act or second act boss, I would have been 1582, and then Vorpal got another 50 points on top of that. So I do wonder. Let me know in the comments if you did something else with maybe maybe an early shop or an extra shop, and that would have had my blast because my blast would have I think change the game significantly uh yeah definitely let me know, know in the comments what you did to get these high scores anyway thanks for watching bye